rejoice. Paul is telling the children of God that they need to rejoice because the one who they love, the one who loves them, is holding their future in the hollow of their hand. But Paul is trying to teach us that no matter what the circumstance or the situation might be in our life, that we have to make up in our mind that we're going to rejoice and give God some praise. You know, one of the things that we do, we rejoice and we give God praise based on circumstance. Yes. Some of us praise God when things are going bad in our life. When things are going bad in our life, we are praise and we are lift up our hands, we are jump, we are shout. Some of us will praise God when things are going good in our life. But what Paul is trying to teach us that our praise unto God should not be regulated by that which is happening on the outside of our life. In other words, my praise should not give away to external forces, but my praise should be something from internal, something that comes from the inside of me. In other words, if I am in relationship with God, I'm not praising God for the new house.
said, I'm trying to follow God. I've been trying to follow you. I'm trying to follow you. And then God said, have you tried my servant? And then Job says, I could. But you have a head around it. You know, I need to give you some right now. Blessings. 